Hello everyone, welcome to the next episode on Anubhav Trainings. In today's episode, we will discuss about how to achieve cross app Fury navigation. And now straight ahead, go ahead, go and deploy this app into Fury, lo uh, Fury Launchpad. But before that, you deploy it in my S4 on a system. So I right click here and we will just send it to the S4 on a system, deploy to my ABAP repository and let's choose our S4 HANA server. And now we will just provide an application name to deploy in our S4 HANA system. Now remember very interestingly, uh, when you deploy this with some name, system will automatically generate an entry out there in your manifest file, which I will also show you in a second. So let me just give some name Z Anubhav CR cross app navigation C A N can and just say Anubhav trainings.com so description as a browse my package so right now I'm just keeping it in my local object of course you can lock it in a productive package and transport this application to the quality system just like any other ABAP artifact which you do it and now the app is getting deployed now Interestingly, you can see the process of deployment. It's deploying into the into my S4 HANA system. We'll see that in a second. But before that, if you go back to the manifest.json file, I would like to show you a special entry out there uh, to to basically deploy this or, or see the entry, the navigation entry for this. So I will quickly go back to the manifest.json. Okay, the deployment is already in process. So let it complete. Okay, it's awesome, done. Now I go to the manifest.json file. Let me close the other files. And we go to code editor. And if you come down to the bottom, you would see an entry has been generated here. SAP platform ABAP, which means this application is deployed in ABAP system with this name. Superb. It's time to go to the Fury Launchpad um, Launchpad Designer and now integrate this app as a tile there. So when user launch this tile, the, the application opens up and then from there we enter a sales org and click on the button which will then launch our sales order app. So let's go ahead and integrate. So I will uh, do it pretty fast. So I will straight away go ahead to our Fury Launchpad Designer. And we will quickly create our tile out there. So I already have a catalog under which I would like to add my tile. Are you new to the Fury Launchpad and the Launchpad Designer? Please feel free to subscribe my advanced Fury training with Fury Launchpad and security concepts to get a complete expert uh, training on Fury Launchpad and Launchpad Designer. It's, a, it's designed especially for those who are completely new to SAP Fury. Also those who have taken my UI5 foundation course to become a UI5 developer. So I will straight away go ahead and search for a catalog which I've already created the other day. So it's named with the IDOC. Just search for that. All right, it's there. And let me add a tile. So let me add a static tile. And just give a title to this app. Uh, so testing cross app navigation trainings.com and let me just give some icon and now it's time to add a semantic object in action so this semantic object in action will be the semantic object or, or an action for our custom app which we have so you can also search the one which I've created here in the system and I will say demo and now we have to give a target uh, parameter of course it has to be uh, using the semantic object in action so if you wish you can give this this information but not really relevant I can save this so you can see a tile has been created with Z Anubhav demo so let's go ahead and create a target mapping for the same tile and I'll say Z Anubhav and say demo and let me now provide my app properties 
So title, I will say cross app navigation. And now it's time to give the URL. So you just saw that when we deployed the app, system has automatically generated the URL. I'm going to copy that, except the web app part, paste it here, and let's give the ID. So ID is going to be the namespace. So I'm going to also go back on the top and just find the ID of the app. This is the ID. Let's copy that and also place this here. Superb. Let's save this up. And that's it. We are done. We are done with our integration of our custom app, which is just deployed to the S4 system. And now it's also good practice to add this app into the from the catalog to the group. So I will just go back to the group which we have created for this catalog specifically. Now, those who are completely new Fury, for Fury Launchpad concepts, please subscribe our advanced Fury training. You'll be getting full hand holding on what is a group, what is a catalog, the roles, the security concepts from the scratch. I click on plus and just search for our catalog and we'll include this app also in the catalog group. So we have added in the group. Now we are done. So I will straight away move to the testing as an end user now. So now it's time to switch to the Fury Launchpad once again and log in with my user who has already this catalog role assigned in which we have added our application. So let me switch to the Fury Launchpad. So this is our Fury Launchpad. And I'll just quickly go ahead and refresh on the page so that it reloads the necessary information about my catalogs and the tiles. And of course, you if you really want to directly jump to the app, you can also use the hashtag which we've just provided, or you can also go to the catalog. So here I will just go ahead and you can see I have a lot of roles assigned to my user. That's the reason I'm able to see multiple catalogs out here. But I know that this is my, my group in which I have added my application. So I will switch to our group and then we'll try to launch the app. Or maybe you can also directly go on top and just type Z Anubhav hyphen demo, press enter. And there you go. You can see our app is loading fine. So now I will just enter 1710, our uh, sales organization, and just click on the button. And when I click on the button, as you can see, it's now not navigating. Oops, we have a problem. So let's investigate what went wrong. So I press F12 and go to the sources to debug my Fury application code and just do control O to open our main.controller.js. So let's open that. And now you can see this is our code which we have written to be able to navigate to the another application. But oops, I can see I have missed the code to navigate. It's just preparing the necessary hashtag uh, for navigation, but it's not going to navigate. So I click and you can see it's hitting the breakpoint. I just press F10. And I, as you can see in the href, it has prepared the required navigation address, which includes the hashtag sales order hyphen manage sales organization equals to 1710. So our ultimate uh, destination has been prepared here where we want to navigate, but still um, I have not written the code to navigate. So for that, we will be using an, another library, an API, which is provided by SAP i5 called URL helper library to redirect our page from this application to the sales order manage application. So for that, I go back to our web IDE. Oops, my web ID got timed out. Maybe I'm just going to refresh this. Just go inside. So I'm refreshing my web IDE. And then we will go ahead and enhance our code to navigate to the required destination. So let's go back now to the controller. And here you can see it has prepared the hashtag. So what I wanted to do additionally is first of all, I take the, the URL from the browser. So basically, uh, as you can see, when we are on the launch pad here, the current URL of the server needs to be picked up exactly as it is. So this first whole part, I need it as it is. So it's very easy. You just take the current URL, which is there in the, in the, in the browser window, and split that based on hash and take the first half of it. So very easy. Let's go back to the console. And now what we will do is we'll just say window dot location dot href. This is the 
the generic way in JavaScript, you can obtain the current running application URL. And now maybe I will apply a split on this based on the hashtag to get the first half part of it. And now, of course, this array, array zero item will get me the first part of my URL, which is going to be same. And then I will append the full, uh, append the hashtag into this this first part which I've obtained here. So let's take this up and I'll go back to web IDE and just say var my final URL to which I would like to navigate is going to be a combination of what I've just prepared addition to that this href. That becomes my final URL for navigation. So let's shoot up that so sap.m URL helper class remember it's case sensitive so you need to be very careful when you're typing this uh, better you download the source code from our description of this video and then you can reuse this source code exactly as it is and then I say redirect and in this I have to now pass our final URL and yeah just make it flat true and let's redeploy this application I'm going to right click and deploy this to the UFL repository and of course now system since it's redeploying it's asking me to update an existing application because it's not going to recreate an application from fresh it understands uh, due to the manifest entry that there is this application already deployed in the server it takes relatively less time now this process because it doesn't have to find a space where it has to deploy you can see the deployment process uh, processes pretty fast in case of update scenario and now you can see it's already in process and now it's completed. Let's go back and we go to right click here and refresh to reload our application, navigation application. And then we'll go ahead and test this now. So remember, we are going to navigate to our sales order application provided also on top of it together with that we want to supply sales organization data so that the filtering works according to the sales organization which we are passing from this app so i pass 1710 and i say are you ready and voila there you go it goes to my sales order app as you can see on the on the top it has changed the hashtag and now it is also putting the url parameter 1710 as a result of that awesome you can see the sales organization filter already populated with 1710 and i can of course go and show you that the sales orders which are getting displayed here belongs to the sales organization which we had passed from there so let me just select it and i guess you can of course expect all of the results pre-populated for 1710 isn't it amazing yes it is so that's the power of navigation including also the the power of um, passing the URL parameter together in action. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If uh, you want to see more videos like this, do let me know in the comment box of this video. Uh, thanks for watching this video. If you're willing to subscribe our latest courses on UI5 Fury development, Fury security, Fury administration, SAP HANA, native HANA development, um, HANA XS, XS O data, or probably ACP Cloud Platform Development, Abapon Cloud, Abapon HANA, S4 HANA, S4 HANA Technical, all that stuff is available right there on annualtrainings.com for you. Please go ahead and subscribe this channel so that you'd get notified automatically. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get the notification right in your inbox whenever we release a new video. This is the Free Learning University from my side. Thank you so much. I was signing out. Have a nice day. See you in the next video.